Hi everyone, Nicholas Buffett here from the Junior Senior School in sunny Cyprus, back with another video all about decluttering your Microsoft Teams. Now, if you're an educator especially, over the years you've accumulated a number of teams, probably most of them for your class teams, maybe teams that are from committees that you're members of, and other teams that you've generated either to test or for various reasons. Problem is, all these teams get cluttered and most of them we don't end up using as much. We're just too scared to delete these teams or remove them because there may be something in there we, we may want later on in the future. Now, when you do actually delete the team, it's actually a soft delete. So you've got 30 days where you can still restore the team. But the problem with that is, we tend to remember something that we had in the deleted team and want to recover, whether it's a file or conversation or something in a private channel on the 31st day and then it's too late we can't recover the team so the preferred method is to archive your team and lock that uh, archive so things can't be deleted it just puts the team away as an archive you still got access to it you can still add members to the team you can remove members the members of the team can actually still access the team but the thing is they're not able to make changes post delete files it's just there as an archive now once you've archived it very very easily you can restore it without the need of an administrator or admin access and you can do this repeatedly as many times as you like so everything is retained when you archive the team it's just put away so it's not cluttering all your active teams so I'm going to be covering deleting and restoring teams as well in this video towards the end but let's get started and have a look at archiving teams okay so here's my teams you can see i've got a number of teams okay uh, running along here now i've got this view you can actually go to the settings and switch the view to the classic grid view i prefer the, the list view because it's easier to see all my teams and switch from one team to another so i'm just going to go back to that list view just showing you that in case you've got a different view and it gets a bit confusing so i'm going to go to switch view and go to list Okay, now here's the team I'm going to be working with. It's called NP Class Team 1. And this team is just the team I've generated now. I've added two uh, fake student accounts. It's got a general channel. And you can see I've got a little post here with hi everyone. I've actually enabled the class notebook as well, so I can demonstrate this to you as well. The class notebook is active. And you can see if I open this up, you can see I've got two students, John Doe and Student 1 and basically th this is as any class team now this doesn't work only for class teams it works for any type of team okay so this is the team i'm going to show you the student view as well since i'm here so this is the student view so you can see this has been simulated in a laptop and this is my student here you can see that the student has, is a member of three teams here's the team we're talking about the student can actually see this team in the teams section here and again i've got this as list view okay so let's say we want to archive this team how do we do that well let's go back to my view uh, from here i'm going to go down to the settings icon so the settings icon in list views down here at the bottom if you've got grid view it will be in the top right so i'm just going to click on here and go to manage teams there we go now here you've got a list of all your teams and if you look at the bottom I've got my archived section as well. So that's where I've archived some teams already. And this is where you will go and restore an archived team if you want to restore it later on. We're going to do that as well today. Okay, so let's first of all, let's find my team. Here's my team, NP Class Team 1. Now I've got here, they go, the three members in here, me and another two students. I haven't got it hidden. And I'm going to click on the ellipsis here and I'm going to choose very easily archive team. And now I'm going to be given this choice. Make the SharePoint site read only for team members. I'm going to select that. Now what this does, this, this basically locks everything that's in the SharePoint for all the members of students is going to make it, or actually all the members including me, it's going to make it read only. Okay, so you can't add files, you can't delete files. Uh, if you've got other teachers added to this team, they've still got access to it, but they're not going to be able to make any changes. So it simply locks this team. Okay, so I'm going to click on Archive. Now down here where I had uh, seven archive teams, I've now got eight. If we have a look at it, there it is there. 
So what happens on the student end? Well, let's go have a look. So this is what your members will have. So if I refresh this now, there you go. You can see oh, down here in the hidden teams, it's actually put it in hidden and it's got this icon here. If I leave my mouse, here, it says it's archived. So this team is now archived. Well, let's have a look at what that means for the student. So the student goes to the general channel, new conversation is turned off, so they can't add any comments, they can't post anything. If they go to the class notebook, immediately the class notebook says at the top, this section is read only. If they go to their own personal section, and that's basically where I am now in their class notes, which is normally read and write access for students, this again is read only. So if you if they've handed in any homework, anything that you can feedback on in their own section, their homework, the class notes, all of that is locked. They cannot change it, but they can go back and review it whenever they want. OK, so let's go back to Teams for the educator and restore the team. So this is the educator's view here. Normally, you would be as soon as you open Teams, you're going to go to the team section here. To find the team which is archived, the best way to find it, you can find it in the hidden items as well, sometimes, but not always. So the best thing and the easiest way to find your archived teams is to click on the settings cog here, go to manage teams, and down here where you've got archived teams, if you click on that, you can find all the teams which you've had archived. Here's my team here. So I'm going to click on the ellipses. Now, keep in mind, from this area, you can also open your archived teams. So if I click on this now, it actually opens that team. I can actually see everything. I can go to my files, so on and so forth. So that's where you would go and find your archived teams. And then you can open them and review them and go find any files or assignments that you would want. So if I go back to where I was, so I'm going to go back to manage teams, go to my archived section here. And now I'm going to click on the ellipses and choose restore team now clicking on this will automatically restore the team both for me and for all the members but the one thing i'm going to do also here is i'm going to click on the show hide icon because if i don't then it's going to have this team in the hidden section i'd have to remember to go and find it in the hidden section and then make it click on it so it actually shows it to unhide it but i can do that here automatically so i'm just going to click on that there you go. And now if I go to my teams, it's not hidden. It's at the top. You can see that the icon for archived has gone. My general section is here. New conversation is enabled. My files are intact and everything is there. OK, so let's just go have a look and see what it looks like for the student. So on the student end, you can have a look here and you can see that if I that's where it was hidden. OK, so there it is. The archived icon has vanished. I can click on the ellipses and make it show, so it shows it in my list here. If I go to posts now, you can see new conversation is enabled. So I can just go, hello. Okay, I can post, I can reply, I can see the files. And if you look in the files section now, this uh, PDF document is actually in uh, read and write mode. It's not just read only. You see the icon here for read only has gone. So I can click on this, edit it, I can delete it, I can add new files, but the class materials ha uh, folder has retained its permissions and that is read only for students, okay? And that's the way the class materials section works anyway. In the teacher area, obviously, it's not read only, it's unlocked it because the teachers can add material there. So that's how we can restore an archived team the the good thing when you archive your teams is you can actually find assignments from archive teams so when you go to assignments you're going to assign a new assignment and you're going to click on um, create from existing it will actually show your archive teams as well and you can find the assignment from there so that's the, that's another reason not to delete your teams and to archive them instead Okay, so the next part is going to be about deleting a team, how we can delete a team and how we can restore a deleted team, providing we are within the 30 day period. Okay, as I said at the beginning of this video, we can also delete a team. 
And we will only do that when we're absolutely sure we want to get rid of it and there's nothing in that team that we want. Because once you've deleted it, everything will be gone. Conversations, files, everything. Now, you can restore a team within 30 days after it being deleted, so please make sure that you're absolutely sure you don't want the team or the content anymore before you actually delete the team. So, how do we delete a team? Exactly the same way as archiving a team, I'm going to click on the settings cog down here at the bottom, go to manage teams, I'm going to find the team that I want to delete, here it is here, so I'm going to delete this team that I've archived a couple of times for this tutorial, I'm going to click on the settings on the ellipses here and simply choose delete the team. Now you get a, a confirmation that you have to tick so you can proceed, um, you understand that everything will be deleted. I'm going to check that and click delete team. Now that team has gone, it's gone from you, it's gone from everybody. If we have a look now at the student end, that team has actually vanished, it's not there, it's not going to be in the hidden, you can't find it in archived, it's gone. How do we restore a deleted team? Well, essentially, if you're not the administrator of or the tenant of the 365 um, account, then you're not going to be able to. But if you do have admin or tenant rights for 365, then you can. And I'm going to show you how you can do that for those of you that do have admin rights. Okay, so I'm going to go to my 365 admin portal. So let's switch over to that. So here's my uh, 365 login. I'm going to go to the admin section here. From here we're going to go to groups and here you've got the option deleted groups. Now you can do this from Azure portal as well but if you've got access to Azure portal you've also got access to the 365 admin section. I just find it a lot easier working from here. Now from these deleted groups you can see previous groups I've deleted and if we look closely, here is the team which I deleted just now. It's called MP Class Team 1. So I'm going to select that and it's just a matter of clicking Restore Group. There we go. And you get a message here. MP Class, one, uh, MP class Team 1 will now appear in your list of active teams and groups. All data associated with it has been restored including group email conversations, group notebooks, documents stored in group files, and the group calendar so now everything has been restored now sometimes it may take a short while for this uh, restoring to propagate through the system and pop up into the list of teams for everybody but it doesn't usually take that long usually within 24 hours let's have a look and see whether it's popped up on my one already so I'm going to close teams and open teams again well, there you go I'm just going to right click and quit teams and now, if I open Teams again, there it is, it's popped up. Okay, so I had to uh, close Teams and open it again, and that's basically how you restore a team. Okay, if you learned something new, if you want to stay updated with new videos that I post, make sure you like and make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.